It does look bizarre, doesn't it? It even looks bizarre to Favre. Brett in Viking purple. We'll see him for a half tonight. And Brett gets rid of it to Shanko, the tight end. Far back to third and two. Chester Taylor, the running back. Oh, Favre almost lost the ball, then sacked by Mario Williams. Third and seven. We got back on the line. The tight end. Shanko hangs on after a tough hit. Goes on right about here, trying to get a big play. Oh, it's there. And a sack by D'Amico Ryans. It came clean in on Favre. It's a second down and goal, and Favre puts one to the corner just out of Percy Harvin's reach. That's a great throw. Going to catch him in a man-to-man -man coverage, and they're looking for Percy Harvin in the slot. He got the outside release, and Brett Favre threw the ball perfectly to the back corner of the end zone. Percy Harvin's got to make that catch. A little bit of Brett Favre looking left, pushing up, creating with his legs. Excellent pocket presence by Brett Favre. Here's a play drifting to his right. Throws a screen to Adrian Peterson right down the numbers. Finishing it up here with a nice timing pattern over the middle. Third and eight to Shanko. Good start. No highlights, but he's been solid. He has not played more than a snap. Good on the move hit for Taylor. Chester Taylor in for six. Touchdown. How many times did we say the Minnesota Vikings are an outstanding screen team? And if you catch them in the right coverage, you're in business. Take a look at Chester Taylor slipping out of the backside against the full blitz. He does an excellent job in the open field. That guy, Chester Taylor, caught 45 passes last year. Outstanding play. Great yeah. call, too, by the Minnesota staff. Barb Chase throws complete. Harvin to the 19, first down. What a wonderful job by Brett Favre. You know, we were at practice on Saturday. I saw the mobility. I was surprised that he could move that well for a guy that's going to be 40 in October. Wildcat, Harvin takes the direct snap. Takes it out the back door. Favre threw the block out there and injured Eugene Wilson. Favre went low on Eugene Wilson, the safety, who's shaken up. And Favre feeling a little bit of that as well. This is some of the concern for some folks at the Wildcat. One on your quarterback, but not thinking about these guys getting hurt. It's a crackback block. Illegal crackback block. Number four, offense. 15-yard penalty. Repeat. First down. And incredibly, it's just such a dangerous play yes. for the defenders. Dangerous play for the quarterback. I'm surprised Brett Favre would do that.